The Defiance Bulldogs are in the state final four for the first time since 1940. So it's been 75 years in the making. Today, the Bulldogs square off with Dayton Dunbar and Ohio State commit A.J. Harris. Winner earns a trip to Saturday's state final. Andy Lynch was at the shot. He has the highlights. Lots of blue in this one. Defiance in the home whites. Dunbar the road blues. Slow start for the Bulldogs. Closing seconds to the first. The future Buckeye A.J. Harris the steal. Sprint to the finish. 13-4 Dunbar after one. Second quarter. Dogs claw back. Shea Smitty misses once but not again. 13-11. Eagles leads down to two. Then it's Katwan Singleton. Three ball cuts the lead to one at 15-14, but the Eagles get some momentum back. Harris, great look to Devin Baker. Dunbar up 24-20 at the half. Third quarter, lots of offense. Singleton kick out to Smitty in the corner of the future. Louisville Cardinal pitcher gives the dog their first lead, 25-24. Then it's Smitty from the wing. It's 30-26 to defiance. Five minutes left in the third. Team high, 18 points for Smitty. Dunbar rallies to end the quarter. A 7-0 run capped by Harris. Game high 19 for the future Buckeye. Eagles up four after three, but midway through the fourth, dish to Michael Menendez, the sophomore. Hits the triple to tie it at 44. Stays that way till the 108 mark. Dunbar hits a free throw to go up one. Singleton draws a foul with 14 ticks on the clock. Hits both free throws. Dogs up 46-45. 17 points, nine rebounds, six assists for Singleton, and three blocks. Look at this SWAT with just a couple seconds to go. Dogs get fouled, miss the free throw, but Harris's last ditch effort is no good. Defiance into the state championship game for Division II. They'll face Cleveland Central Catholic with a historic 46-45 come from behind win. It's kind of enjoyable to be up here, first of all. Um, to be with these young men is even better. Uh, I thought to a T, the game plan, we played out exactly how we wanted it to. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. You need them to miss some shots, and, and they did. But I thought our scrappiness and, and getting loose balls in the second half uh, had a big part in the win tonight. Um, it's a very good basketball team that we played, and they're a lot quicker than we are, but, but uh, our guys got big hearts, and these two guys next to me, and you know, I, I know he was a second teamer, but he's a first teamer in our, in our mind. Um, He's a pretty good basketball player. So um, we're just excited to, to represent the community of Defiance, and we're excited to be in the championship game. Cam got the ball on the corner, and he took a shot. And then I was like, the only thing I had to do was get a rebound. And when I did that, um, I looked up, and I said I was behind the basket. So I had to make something happen because <laughs> the time was uh, running down. So lucky enough, I got fouled. and then. I got fouled. I was like, I'm a pretty good uh, free throw shooter, so I can I can hit this. So, lucky enough, they both went in. We we knew we could play with them, especially because we scrimmaged them um, at the beginning of the season. We knew we could play with them. With the way we play defense, we just had to um, rebound with them, and we couldn't turn the ball over. And so, once we did that, I knew we had a chance. We're gonna tell our guys enjoy this a little bit, and, and we coaches will go back to work. Uh, they deserve to enjoy it, and you know I th think sometimes we don't tell our players to do that enough, and, and these guys have been great at focusing, and, and we'll get back focused later tonight and maybe tomorrow morning, but, um, you know, it's just an honor to represent Defiance and, and the community of Defiance in the state championship game. Uh, it means a lot to our kids, and uh, growing up in Defiance and being a Defiance alum, it means a lot to me, and, and uh, I know we'll be excited to play come tomorrow afternoon.